How do you get the best possible tone out of your Telecaster? I'm gonna show you. Let's go. If you consider the thing that you just heard good Telecaster tone, this is the right video for you. I'm Joey and I do this stuff all the time, so if you like that stuff, go ahead and subscribe. And by the way, if you want to play the song that you just heard, go over to my shop, link is in the description. You can buy the tabs and the backing track for that. So the first essential thing you need to get right in order to get a good Telecaster tone is you need to have the right guitar amp combination. We have to think about the Telecaster as a very bright and almost brittle instrument. A Telecaster has a lot of bass if it's like an ash body and if it's like a good resonant body. You get a lot of bass response response from an ash body actually. You also get an incredible amount of treble out of a Telecaster. In fact, the only thing you do not get out of a Telecaster that much is mids. So when we talk about amp guitar combinations, we actually need to think about what is my amp generally sounding like. And if you by chance play an amp that has a lot of bass and a lot of treble just like your Telecaster does, you're already in the danger zone for bad Telecaster tone. Here's an example. How often do you see the combo of a Telecaster into a Marshall Plexi? Probably not that often, because a Plexi is a very bright Marshall. It can get very, very brittle in the high mids and highs if you turn it up. If you want to have a Telesound like mine, you probably need something that counteracts the brittle and bassy kind of characteristic of a tally. Amps that come to mind are amps that are a little bit more darker sounding. If you want to stay in the Marshall territory, you could for instance think of Bogner or a Diesel. Even some Friedmans will do. Or on the Fender side of things, a Tweed or a 6V6 kind of amp usually does a lot better than the very, very classy sounding silver face super reverbs. Or in my case, because I'm a Marshall fan, I use a very dark sounding Marshall and that is the Marshall Silver Jubilee. The Marshall Silver Jubilee has a preamp unlike any other Marshall. It sounds a lot fatter, tighter in the mids and it has a lot more weight in the lower mids I feel like. Check out this example where I'm playing straight into my Silver Jubilee with my Telecaster. To me that's a really really nice pairing of a dark sounding amp and a bright sounding telly. It makes up for this well well balanced fat sounding lead tone. I like it. The second thing you need to get right to get a good teletone is actually using that knowledge of amps and guitars that sound bright and dark, combining them in the right way, and using them with pedals as well. So let's imagine we have a Telecaster and some blackface Fender. So now let's apply our bright and dark logic again. Here we have a blackface Fender, a lot of bass, a lot of treble, and we have a Telecaster, some bass and a lot of treble. Danger zone, right? What we absolutely cannot use now as a drive pedal is a pedal that has a lot of bass and a lot of treble because that will just end up in not a great sound. So let's get through a couple pedals that I pulled out of the drawer and go through them. Clon pedal is known to be a mid-focus pedal, rolls off some of the treble 
as you increase the gain, the treble doesn't get out of hand. So this is actually a very, very good pedal for a good Telecaster sound because in our scenario where we already have a lot of treble, a lot of bass, this rolls it off, increases the mids, well-balanced tone, meaty kind of gain, you get a fat Tele sound. Thumbs up. No Balls ODR1 kind of pedal. This is an Atom by Brown, but it's supposed to be a No Balls kind of thing. No Balls works well. Why? Because the No Balls pedals do the exact same. A little mid hump, very, very full range across the board of frequencies, can work really well, shouldn't go out of hand with the treble. Be careful with the drive a little bit, but other than that, an ODR Nobles kind of pedal works well in our scenario with a Fender amp and a Fender Tally. Thumbs up. TC Electronics Spark Booster. Super, super common pedal, a lot of people own it. It sounds very, very bright. It sounds MIDI and bright. Um, not a good pairing. Because anything that adds treble to our already pretty trebly Telecaster will not result in the best possible sound. So this one, thumbs down, wouldn't do it. Blues breaker kind of circuit. Usually doesn't work well. Why? Because on a blues breaker circuit, the more you increase the gain on these, the more the treble goes up as well. And that means your Telecaster is gonna sound harsh in no time. It gets out of hand really, really quickly. It doesn't really make for a balanced tone if you need a lot of gain out of the pedal. If you're using it in somewhat of a low gain mode, it's fine. Otherwise, I would rather take something else. And finally, Tube Screamer circuit. This is a JHS Moonshine, but it's supposed to imitate a Tube Screamer. Tube Screamer are this kind of EQ curve, so very, very mid-focused. So Tube Screamer pedals with a Fender amp, which is bright, and a Telecaster, which is bright, works really, really well, rolls off the highs a little bit, increases the mids, sound pushes forward, sounds more in your face, which is exactly what you need with the Tele anyway, because with the Tele you want to sound in your face, right? So Tube Screamer circuits, always work because it's a dark sounding pedal. How exactly does it sound? I'm glad you asked because in the next sound example I'm using a Fender-ish kind of clean sound and then use this Moonshine for the solo boost and you will hear it's gonna stay very pleasant, it's gonna stay very fat. There you go. Those are the basic fundamentals of great Telecaster tone. I intentionally didn't talk about pickups, picks, strings, whatever today, because the most important thing, the 90% of your tone will be in your Telecaster, in your amp, and if you use pedals, it will be in your pedals. And those three things we just need to get right before we talk about all the other things which make up small percentages of the tone. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you're going through your signal chain today. Keep that frequency spectrum in your mind as you go through your signal chain and evaluate what you need and you will be just fine. As always, I've been Joey and I'll see you in the next.